Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, welcome to a special edition of How To Tuesday, where we will focus on the new additions to Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic uh, as we stare at the Morial Tomb in St. Louis, number one in New Orleans, as we're gearing up for this next final championship of mayor's race. Go old nod to Dutch over here. Anyway, as we are in the cemetery here, we might as well see what Lightroom has resurrected from Lightroom CC as the new Lightroom Classic. Also, you also have the Lightroom CC, which is the new Lightroom CC, not the old Lightroom CC. Artist formerly known as Lightroom CC is Lightroom Classic. Anyway, briefly, Lightroom CC is the new cloud-based service. Great for people who are editing files on multiple devices, phone, tablet, desktop, and you are able to subscribe to a cloud-based storage service of your raw files where you can immediately upload your files and edit them from different devices. Really good for if you're outputting sRGB JPEGs for web social posting. Not if you are wanting to create custom uh, preset export file names, sizes, export to TIFF, PSD, RAW, stuff like that. You're going to want to stick with the Lightroom Classic, which is what I'm going to go over now. So if you do have the Adobe Creative Cloud, just go up to your little uh, Infinity Sys uh, symbol up there, the little cloud, and uh, you're going to want to open, well, update Lightroom Classic. What you're going to notice is a much quicker uh, speed and interface. So uh, right now I'm just going to go in and... Uh, hit the metadata and just look at the uh, raw files just so we can uh, zip through these right here. Oh, we don't want that. So let's just choose the raw from uh, the, the graveyard here and we will get back into this format here. But the one thing I do love about the new Lightroom is that we're able to zip through. There's Marie Laveau's grave. We're, we're zipping through these files much faster than before. And if you're like me, the culling phase and the tagging phase is the longest part of the process. You have an event, you have a wedding, you have a portrait that you've shot. 100, 200, 1,000 images, going through these images, having them load every time, takes time away from you and your editing. So having this work faster, uh, bravo. Uh, the other thing that I wanna show you guys is this new tool uh, update, which I really love. And I'm gonna show you an image that I think it would work really well on. So we're shooting in the, this graveyard, it's a wonderful above ground graveyard and of course you're going to find areas where there are highlights and shadows right next to each other what we would normally do <clears throat> in this setting right here if our horizons are nice and straight we would use the gradient tool right here so if we click on that we would pull down our gradient right and then go down and make our adjustments but what we couldn't control that much was where the adjustments were being made. They were being made in this really large area of the sky affecting so much of the trees, the tombstones of the ground. We have a range mask and we can make adjustments to highlight certain portions of the file, like color. If we were to only want to adjust, say the blue of the sky, we can take the dropper bring the dropper to the blue and did you see how it selected all of the blue? I'm going to back up right there. Look, watch the, the green tree. When I select the blue, 
it recognizes the blue versus the gray on the tombstone here, the green of the tree. And then I'm able to adjust my exposure. Let's take the mask off so we can really see. I'm able to adjust my exposure, contrast, what's even cooler, clarity, saturation. I can make that pop to this nice electric blue right there without affecting the tree, which is pretty awesome, right? So let's save that there. We can also create another gradient tool and pull it up from the bottom and go to the range mask and go luminance and this will allow us to, let's take a look at the mask overlay. Watch how this will only work with the certain tones. You see that on the highlights or on the shadows and everything. I, I like this because we can mask and utilize certain tones versus colors. Um, so if we're in there, we can make adjustments to contrast, to even our blacks. Let's take this off and see exactly what we're doing. If we bring our blacks down here, you see how it's only affecting the highlights right here? Or we can bring our highlights down, which is something that we probably want to do in a, in a graveyard or a cemetery like this because there's so much contrast. And we're going to take it one step further and show you the next tool, which is the adjustment brush tool. Now we know the adjustment brush tool allows us to make targeted adjustments to certain areas. But let's say we wanted to refine that adjustment. Using the range mask, let's show selected mask overlay. So let's say we just wanted to work with our shadows. Using the range mask and the luminance key, we can make our adjustments here. A very smooth, or look how fine-tuned that adjustment is right there. And we can actually go in and just work with our shadows. This is pretty, pretty amazing right here. If we smooth it out, it will have a little bit smoother effect between the highlights and shadows. So we can make our adjustment and then use the tool here to tweak how that smoothness is interacting between shadow and highlight. And you know, as you know, you can do multiples of these. Um, we can even bring just the, the gradient right in here, bring, bring our range mask to color, select our green color, and just make adjustments there. And it will only affect that tree. Might want to saturate that tree a little bit more. Yeah. So. The new tools, the speed, are a welcome added addition. If you want even more information on what's going on with the new tools and how to use them, you know that you can go to zacksmith.com, click on over to workshops, or look on the front page right here and sign up for Just Shoot Raw, Learn Lightroom and Photoshop, one day only. 4514 Magazine Street. I've got three people in it already. I'm limiting it to 10. And uh, we're going to talk about the Lightroom CC and Lightroom Classic updates. Go to the website. It tells you all about it, the cost, and also some free videos on uh, two exposure photo merge and also some uh, healing and adjustment brush tools. Uh, keep shooting. Keep working on your own work, 
and good luck with everything. Over and out.